Um, in this video, I'm just going to be showing people how to macro properly in B-Swarm Simulator. So, um, the first thing you're going to want to do is, um, <coughs> to macro, is you're going to want to, A, go to my Discord server, which is, I, I will link an invite in the description, uh, it's called Gamer Gods. It, this is the thing, um, <coughs> and you want to go to mods, right? And you want to find naturemacro.zip, uh, download that. <coughs> It'll just download that, uh, right? Then you can close it out. Go to your uh, downloads folder uh, in File Explorer, find Nature Macro, and go ahead and throw it on your desktop. Uh, you can then proceed to create a new folder. I'm running on Windows 11, but it should be pretty similar if you're on Windows 10 still. Um, now you want to, I'm using WinZip, but you can just click right click, extract all, browse, go to your, de hit, go to desktop and find that new folder being right here and select that folder. And I already have this done with um, this folder, right? And then it, you'll try to open this thing called nature, uh, this f uh, file called nature macro. So it'll be an auto hockey script. If you try to open it, it'll it might come up with an error like um, blah 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 requires to download auto hockey. Just let it download auto hockey because this link right here doesn't work for your nature. If you have any issues, just comment below. And um, once you have nature macro. Uh, Here's what it looks like. Here's a screenshot, but uh, here's what it is. Basically, it'll show you which fields to gather in up to three fields, <clears throat> what you want it to collect and kill. So it can collect the, the clock. It can collect the Mondo buff or kill the Mondo chick. Mm, it will collect your free ant passes or do your ant challenges. And it will also collect your robo passes if you want it to. It can collect your dispensers, collect your beesmith stuff, kill the monsters in the game, kill the coconut crab and stuff, and <clears throat> it can use the boosters, like the red booster. It can do your quest for polar bear and the black bear quest past the mythic egg. If you have don't have the mythic egg yet, it won't work. Bucklebee, um, if you have Bucklebee, it'll do it. Honeybee, it'll do it. Riley Bee, it'll do it. Brown bear isn't implemented yet. Try to set this to a low number, because if it's like 10 minutes, it'll waste a ton of time not killing monsters. Like, if I you have to kill scorpions, they go on like a 20-minute cooldown, so set this to like 4 or 5 minutes, so you don't waste a ton of time with your macroing. Planters, it'll just plant your planters for you. I have this off just because I don't want it to do that. And this status log will be really important. This uh, Discord webhook, you want to definitely enable this, and in my Discord server, if you, like, ping me or message me or something, I can create a channel like this and this channel. This is my friend's channel. I'm not going to show it because, you know, but this is my channel. It's public. You can see it. You just can't type it or anything. Uh, this is basically what the macro is. This tells me everything the macro is doing. That's what the webhook is. Just give me your link, and I'll create a channel that only you and I can see because I can... <coughs> I literally can't remove myself from seeing the channel. So, yeah. Um, yeah, you can also uh, make it ping you whenever stuff happens, and it can have sc screenshots, but I suggest don't do the screenshots of pinging, because you just get, a, like, a thousand pings, and you don't want that. <laughs> You'll call back in Discord, and it'll be like, 43,756 pings. And, um, it's kind of annoying. Don't mess with any of this stuff, but this one is really important. So, in B-Swarm Simulator, um, you have a stat called Movement Speed. If you go to your setting, your system settings, and it's near the bottom, uh, a little bit above Goo, Attacks, Move Speed, right here. You want to make sure this is exactly set right here, and make sure you have Move Speed co co Correction on, just to make sure that, and make sure it, whatever sprinkler type you have, tell it whatever sprinkler type, tell it to... Um, when to collect, uh, convert your balloon and tell you how you want it to move. Do you want to walk or do you want to use the cannon? Like, if you can't use the cannon, you'll have to tell you want to walk, but if you can use the cannon, that'll pretty much be the way you'll be moving the whole time. Um, now, 
uh, that is pretty much everything, and make sure you have your movement speed set, or it can mess up the macro and actually mess everything up, and completely screw over your macroing sessions, make you lose millions upon millions of honey, and even billions if you're late game. Billions of, billions of if you're like mid game, millions if you're earlier game, and trillions if you're like late game, which is ridiculous. So yeah. Anyways. That's done.